I'm Jason from Crop King, and today we're going to assemble one of our desktop units. So when you open up your package, you want to look inside and make sure you got everything that's included on your packing slip. A few of the things we would find inside here are two pieces of NFT channel, you'll find two pads of rock wool, a pump, calcium nitrate, which will be your fertilizer for your plants, hydrogrow leafy, another type of fertilizer, your first packet of seeds, two 90 degree elbows, and the tubing required to run water and nutrients to your plants. Your NFT channels come pre-glued, so there's no assembly required. Inside, you'll also find your instruction manual that tells you how to operate your NFT system and also how to mix your nutrient blends. Now we'll assemble our pump assembly. You're gonna start by grabbing the small bag that has the spaghetti tube inside and remove the contents. You'll begin with a short piece of half inch pipe and the white spaghetti tube. And what you wanna do in this step is to press the white spaghetti tube onto the barbed T on the larger piece of half inch tube. It's important that you press these all the way up to where the white tubing touches the junction of the T. And then do it again on the other side. Once the white spaghetti tube is attached to your T junction, you can then grab your greenback valve and insert it into either of the two ends. You'll then take your larger piece of half inch tube and insert it into the end that you did not use first. Your pump assembly is now complete, and now we're gonna get the pump out of our box. When you open your pump box, remove the pump from the packaging, and you'll find three different inlets. You wanna choose the half inch inlet. So once you open the package, you'll find that the half inch inlet has a barb at the top and will fit appropriately onto your half inch tubing. The first step with that is to thread the inlet into the top of your pump. You'll then secure the inlet in the short end of tubing in your half inch line. Ensure that your greenback valve is closed and you're now ready to insert your pump assembly into your reservoir. Once the pump assembly has been put together, you wanna to make sure all of the black tubing is inside the reservoir. You'll remove the cord and pull it off to one side. Take your two pieces of white spaghetti tube and to the best of your ability, lay them alongside the cord. You'll now take your reservoir cover with the knockout facing towards your cords and tubes and insert the cord and tubes into the knockout. And your reservoir and pump assembly are ready to use. Once your pump assembly is complete, you're ready to put your NFT channels onto the top of your reservoir. You take the channel itself, put the 90 degree elbow at the end. This does not need glued. The end of the 90 degree elbow into the pre-cut hole in the top of the lid and set it on top of the reservoir cover. You'll do the same with the second piece of NFT channel. Apply the elbow. This end is gonna enter into the hole that's been pre-cut in the top of the reservoir cover. You'll now take your two pieces of spaghetti tube one in each NFT channel and insert it into the pre-drilled hole, ensuring that it's far enough down that it will not pop out on its own. Double check that they're secure and you're now ready to fill your reservoir with water. Once your reservoir has been assembled and your NFT system is ready for water, you're gonna to wanna to do your nutrient solutions. So you're gonna use HydroGrow Leafy and calcium nitrate to provide the proper nutrient solution for your plants. Inside the instruction guide is a guide for how to mix these properly. Make sure that you ensure that you only add the proper amount to your reservoir to ensure the best plant growth. Once you have those nutrients mixed, the next thing you can do is you can move on to actually seeding the tray. So we're gonna use rock wool. What you wanna do is insert your seed into this top notch here in the top of the rock wool cube. When you're ready to put it into the NFT channel, you'll insert it with the pock mark up and the wider bottom down. And it'll fit directly into the little square provided. 
Before you proceed with planting, make sure you read the directions carefully on how to properly use rock wool. And that's how we assemble an NFT desktop kit. These are great systems for starters, beginners, children, anybody that wants to start growing at home. It's a really easy way to get started. We welcome any questions or concerns that you have, so please feel free to call or email at any time, and thank you so much for watching.